Well, we have seen eight matches from some of the world's best today. Why not a little more entertainment this time from USA Dart Productions? Hello, everyone. William Stewart here on the call as always. And tonight we have a best of 31 leg matchup between the Dutch Dragon, Jules Van Doggen, and Steve Russell. This is going to be a good matchup. Be on the edge of your seat because uh, this one's going to go quick. I am uh, thoroughly sure on that one. So hold on to your seats, and this should be some quality entertainment. So these guys are ready to go. It'll be Steve to throw first. We'll let him finish up the last couple darts here. Game on. All righty, folks. Here we go. It's going to be an entertaining one. A little bit more about Jules. 100. Got to have that split flag because Jules is from Meershawn, Netherlands. He now originates in Parkville, Missouri. Small town there in the Netherlands. 40. Came over in 2013. Good split there. Good, good move as he gets a 119 out of that. Good recovery. It's going to be entertaining. Both these guys can uh, really play. Jules, he has uh, been around darts for a 100. while. He said 6-7. He got his first dart board, but uh, hasn't really taken it seriously. Uh, last year he won the uh, – or actually, sorry, this year he won the St. Pat's o uh, St. Patrick's Open. SH Beach, Missouri. <laughs> Won that and decided why not give this a go. He's been on a tear of late. Including the second place finish in Dark Player St. Louis March 50. Madness. Sorry. Dark Madness, I should say. Kind of that same guidelines as March Madness. It's a fantastic deal. 94. 64 players. One weekend. Amazing. 203 needed for Steve here. He needs to whittle it down. Jules well ahead, shooting a 99 already. 30. Fifty. One sixty five. Will not have a chance at the out. 99. 50 left. Let's see what he goes. 10 tops, 18, double 16. Goes for the 10 tops route. Nothing wrong with that. 48. 48, unfortunate for Steve Russell. 20 left for Jules. First, first dart it is. 19 dart leg. Takes the first leg in this best of 31 leg matchup. Looks like we just lost everything here. Sorry. Trying to get my mic a little bit louder for you folks. There we go. 58. There we go. Hello, everyone. Just kind of pulling up the uh, comment section. Sorry for the little uh, hesitation there. I want to make sure I get some uh, comments going. If you want to say hello or uh, drop a comment, let us know, and we'll 
give you some answers, get some chat going, have some fun with this. It's not One just minute. about darts. It's uh, about, of course, this match that's going on. It's a great match, but we're here to have a good time as well, except for you, when I'm flying solo. You guys are the second commentators in this. Uh, 28. Unfortunate 28 there for Jules. 283 needed for Steve Russell. What do we think about today's world championship matchups? Of course, in North American, Danny Lauby having a fantastic matchup versus Ryan Cyril. Two or five, just above. 97. Good 97. Good third dart there from Jules. Give himself a little 108 shot. One art. <laughs> we got a lot of people having some fun in. Scott Walston having some fun here. 100. Michael Walters, another. Kansas City guy, Lawrence area, uh, having some fun. 88 needed, double 14. Just outside, some jewels with a double eight, uh, double four opportunity. Eight left to go 2 0 up. Inside, double two. Bust. Unfortunate bust there. A lot of likes. Follow shares coming in. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. Peg, I think that's inside. Yep, inside corner makes it one one. A little bit more about Steve Russell, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That's where Mr. Steve Russell is from. He made it to that WDF Virtual Cup. Top thirty-two finish there before. Uh, it's coming to Paul Hogan. That match was incredible up until that last leg. Uh, Paul Hogan won 4 1, but four great legs there. 14, 15 dart legs there between the, a lot of them and then an unfortunate 26, but great match. She throws back to back 140s there. 100. Bit more about Steve Russell's WDF. He uh, at Virtual Cup, he finished third in that group. It included uh, Robbie Mills, Danny Bagish, uh, himself, and another competitor out of Brazil. That moved on to the knockout stages. 167 here. Unfortunate five. Plenty of time here as Jules is on three or four and needs one, probably two trebles. There's one. One, three, four? 96? No, 96. Winger Jr., what's going on, Will? Danny did great, yes. 134. He did very good. Especially at that first set. You know, it was just tough, tough first set. 83, three, double top, double top. Oh, inside. Three. Seems to be more regular, these double top, double tops. Unlucky as he misses the 14, 11, 13 for Bolt. You hear just that slight uh, from Jules. First start. Nice First start in there for Steve. Way to recover and uh, snag that away. Sixty. Terry asking the DC to watch the score. F D. U N forty five. One forty. Good one forty there for Jules. Eighty one. 
drop that watch code in there for you folks. Pin it up. 60. Get back to a couple of these comments real quick. 60. Terry Stevenson, a Kansas City... Uh, Kansas City Darter in the mix. We appreciate that. Watching Jules. One hundred. Austin. Thanks for the wonderful stream. If it wasn't for you streaming this match, I'd probably be watching the Kardashians. Oh man, I feel bad for you, bud. Sorry. <laughs> we are happy to do it it's a good entertaining matchup both these guys are capable of getting going uh, Jules threw a uh, 80.7 and an 11-10 uh, match against uh, Steve Shope in Dart Madness Finals he came up just short in that, so uh, Steve won that 11 to 10, but it was an 80.7 average for him. 96. First nine of 86.7. Great matchup in that semifinal. He actually went 10-8 in a win over Brad Oxenide. He threw a nine darter in that tournament. Yeah, that's right, nine dart leg in that tournament. But Jules came out on top of an 86.9 average and a 95.3 first nine. Duels is capable of mid eighties, high eighties. Fifty-eight. Jules actually had the pleasure of playing Mr. Matt Campbell today. And a little warm up for Matt Campbell's forty five. Uh, first round against Scott Waits. Jules actually had three match darts. 58. So Jules is quite the player. Good 140 there for Jules. Settles in for a 149. 240 needed for Steve Russell. Needs a couple of trebles. He's not going to have it. So Jules with the advantage to make it 3 2. You can steal this leg away. Remember, folks, this is a best of 31 leg match. We will take a short break after 15 legs. Good third dart from Jules. Takes it 3-2 here. Come on. Come on. Here, Steve talking himself up. Nothing wrong with that. Give himself a little encouragement. 100. <clears throat> Steve Shope in the mix anyways. How about that? <laughs> I'm from Smithville, Missouri. Dave, appreciate that. <laughs> Scott, we don't talk about Woody stuff in here. Yeah, that's right. Jules played in that Woody tournament this year. That was, uh, I think, last weekend. Nice little Woody tournament up in uh, Kansas City area. 60. Unfortunate third dart there for Jules. Uh, 
Great 140 there for Jules Van Doggen, the Dutch Dragon. I think 140 leaves 131. Steve needs a treble, finds it. Still not enough though, so Jules got time. He's got six darts. 59. Dana Floyd, this stream is helping my work night go faster. Well, we appreciate that statement, sir. We hope so. We are glad to give you guys some entertainment this evening, as always. 93. Whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, we appreciate it. 12, 20 for tops. Give me a tough view. It looks high, is high. So 32 shot leaves 40, but 93 needed for Steve Russell. Goes bull, first start. I like that if he hit it. He did not. <laughs> 29. Unfortunate 29. Fortunate darts there as he goes around the board. 35. So it's Steve to take advantage. Double 16. Come on. Third dart. He does. You can nice. hear it. Come on. Why not give a little in excitement? So he makes it interesting. Ties it up 3-3. Three, three. Steve definitely has the lower average here. 71 average for Steve. 78 average for Jules. But Steve takes advantage of those legs. 60. And he can and goes for it. I was supposed to be writing down all these notes and look at me just calling the match. 47. Nothing wrong with that, but want a little bit of notes for later, so why not start writing them? Big 64 there for 85. Steve to still throw. Ninety-six. Sounds to ninety-six scores, so at least two sixty. Three fifty-eight for Jules. Forty-one. A little more info on Steve Russell in that WDF Virtual Cup. He played ten matches overall, eighty-one point four zero average. First nine of ninety point three. That's an overall average for that tournament. So I thoroughly uh, expect him to kind of pick up. His matches, he gets in to the ladder legs here. Expect Jules to do the same, even though he's sitting at a 78. So, Steve with a 160 here. Seventy-five. Fifty-four. No, sorry. Eighteen for tops. Fifty-eight. Thirty-five. I was thinking seventy-one. Had to rethink. That looks in. Seventeen? Yes, for tops. And a one seventeen checkout for Jules Van Doggen. Uh, you can hear the distress. Going, ah, he knew how much that meant. First start. That would have been to steal throw. Cheers, bud. Comes up short. Big 40 checkout for Steve Russell. Takes it four to three. Sixty. 
All right, let's see some of these chats. Let's see here where everybody's at, where everybody's from. I know we have some Missouri, Kansas City people, some Kansas City, Kansas people in the mix. So uh, drop where you're currently residing at. Let's hear it. Get some interaction between you folks. One twenty-five. Big one two five. We have yet to have a ton eighty. One thing we are looking for. Went on over to YouTube. Yes. Wanna check that chat out real quick. One hundred. Looks like some people from the Netherlands chiming in. Come on, Jules. <laughs> uh oh! You... <laughs> Someone called me out. What you drinking? We'll hear in lots of ice. Uh, it's just water from a glass. <laughs> Forty. We'll keep it at that. One two eight. That's in there for bull. Thirty one left. <clears throat> Unfortunate there as he just misses outside into the 19. Yep. Lead 31. And just like Jamie Lewis did today. <laughs> Steve hits the neighbor. Unfortunate there as he busts. 31 here. Double eight. Just Third outside. Dart. Oh, God, Third dart it is. You can hear Jules. Come on. They're giving it to each other back and forth now. Here we go. Tied up 4-4. Four, four. I hear some claps in the background. I'm wondering if that was some uh, friends of Jules. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out if you're in the if that's you guys. <laughs> Mr. Steve Kuish, stream looks great. That is the father of Tori Kuish, great female player out of Australia. That's a female player. She's just a great darts player in general. Looking at getting her on again. So, Steve, hope things are good there in Australia, sir. Ross Moore, Oklahoma, OKC Darting Association. Let's see where everybody's from. Jeremy Miller, Illinois Destroyer. Mark Lincoln, Caseyville, Illinois, Columbia, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri. Go Saints. Oh, I shouldn't even said that. Chiefs all the way. We're Chiefs Nation here. One seventy, the big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for tops. That was a tough second dart, especially that being that high and close to that uh, double. Makes it real tough. So inside there for yeah. Jules. 110 needed for Steve. Not going to have an opportunity. So, Kuhl is going to come back with a, another opportunity. Can he hit it here? Double 10. Just outside. Good marker, though. Was far, too far inside. Going for double five. Just inside. In 
inside level eight. <laughs> so he just busts it. Unfortunate wow. there for Steve Russell looking to take advantage. That's Will cool. not. Jules puts himself in the madhouse. Double one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Wish COVID free for 40 days. Life is good. I don't believe this, man. I close. That is good, sir. 12. I didn't hear that one, so I'm glad to hear that you uh, made it through it. Feeling good. Speaking of people um, and, and COVID, I see Diana Rutherford is Second dart. in the Five. chat. <laughs> Jules steals that leg, makes it 5 4. I didn't want to stop in the middle of that, but I wanted to take some time and. Uh, Say, Diana, hopefully you get to feeling better. I saw that today, your announcement on Facebook. Uh, we're praying for you. Hope everything goes well. Big one. No, 140 there for Jules. Still yet to see our first one. But uh, Diana says, Kansas City, love the, that Jules guy. 60. Great sports ambassador. That is the truth. You are as well, ma'am. You're a great ambassador of the Dars game, so we appreciate you. And uh, thank you for tuning in this evening. Appreciate that. Oh, Steve said that's Melbourne. He's talking. 100. So Melbourne, Australia has been COVID-free for 40 days. Okay, so good. I did see that. That is great to hear. You guys are doing some stuff right there. 81. Stephen the Hague, Netherlands. Appreciate you tuning in, Stephen. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit late over there. Good leg for Jules. 140, 134, 81. Looking for a 146 checkout. Will not have it. Great setup, though. Great setup. I was about to say, that's a little off. 110, bud. Leaves 36. There it is, third dart. You can hear him screaming to himself, come on, Jules. These guys are both very passionate about the game. Steve is. You can hear him grunt. Thoroughly think he will kind of get things started here with the big one, two, five. First time anybody's been up by uh, more than a leg. And it's Jules to do so. Up 6-4. 98. Donnie Sniper Ram in the house. Guy we're going to have to get on USA Darts. He's a uh, great shooter out of Oklahoma. I'm on quarantine darts a couple times. Great player. So Steve Russell unfortunately throwing an 11 in his leg. It's going to be tough to come back from that, especially when... Look a little bit better on Jules' side, but let's see if he can take advantage. He can definitely take advantage here. Needs one or two trebles. He's not going to have two. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a second, but still leaves a checkout. One, six, four. Why not? 
Jules was down to 110. He's going to have to do a lot of damage in this one at least. And that's not going to help. Neither is that. 62. Even sub 102, but 110 here for Jules. Doable. Especially with that first dart, but it looks a little bit low. But he's going to have a double 18 chance inside. So he's going to leave 18. 92 shot. 54. Get into that here in a sec for Scott. Good double nine there for Jules to make it 7 4. Scott Walston says. Well, everyone, this old man is going to sleep. I'm wishing both of these players the best. And always remember that the game starts with the best of luck and finishes with the best of luck. Good night, my friends. That is a good statement, sir. Always starts and ends with a handshake. So, I mean, that's kind of difficult in these times. It'll probably be a fist bump or an, or an elbow these days. But always good to acknowledge at the beginning and end of a match no matter what. So, great statement. Paul Schwinneman watching. Great to have you on and watching again, Paul. The great shooter at that Kansas City area. CDC tour card holder as well. Go for a 180. 95. No, 95. Couldn't quite tell if that was in which bed. Twenty-one. Good one, two, one. Steve picking it up. Sixty-eight is definitely. Forty-five. Now Steve's capable of. He's capable of a lot more. So. I'm gonna show that off. Trying to get back into it here. We'll take a break after fifteen legs. So we're at eleven right now. It's the best of thirty-one leg match. First to sixteen. Jason Spidey McCoy, how's it going, buddy? Played Jules about a year ago and got waxed, but talk about a class act. Yes, definitely. Second Great player. Good 45 check out for Steve Russell as he tries to crawl his way back into this match. It's a 14 dart leg. there. Jules looking to do the same for himself, but it's not. It comes up with an 83. Definitely a long match. Uh, best of 31 100. legs. About 39 minutes in, so 12 legs, 39 minutes, not bad at all. That's including an intro. So these guys are flying pretty pretty well. They don't mess around. They uh, quickly move forth, as you'll see Steve probably threw his darts right now. Took just a second there, but the virtual game is definitely a fast game. We're seeing that. Christopher and G, appreciate your share. Thank you. One nine six. Seventy. One eighteen for Jules. Unfortunately. 
Ricochet. Ricochet. 44. So just a 44 shot. Can Steve take advantage with a 118? Goes 18 first. 14 for Bull. So we hit 54. Can go at it. 74 left for Jules. The Dutch Dragon. 42, 32 inside. Double eight. Third dart. Right in the corner. Big third dart for Jules. He makes it 8 5. Start there for Jules in this leg. Ninety-six. The Ninety-six follow-up from Steve Russell. One hundred. We're seeing these guys settle in here, and right as they settle in, we're going to take a break here at fifteen, but. It could do him do him well. 135. Could do Steve well. Big 135 answer. Here we go. Interesting leg here. Looking for a 180. Uh, 125. 125. Just ricochets into the five bed. Tonner better here. Eighty-five. Oh, unfortunate. That third dart let him down. Jules will have six darts here at 136. So he's looking to make some headroom 46 to leave 90. It's a good leave, and we'll tell you why. One thirty-four. That adds some pressure. Big one three four. Now Jules has the has the advantage here because he can just hit two twenties, but he goes for bull. So two bulls. Leaves tops or bullseye? Ah, see, he went smart. He went 25, 15, then for bull. They have a guaranteed chance at it. Just misses, though, so 51 left. Come on. Second dart. And nice. Steve hits it. Second dart. 14 dart leg, folks. Eight, six. Steve Russell with a big takeaway and steal there. Sixty. Looks like we're coming through on somebody's side, especially when I get a little bit rowdy. So we'll try not to get too rowdy, but one forty, one forty here. One for Jules, one for Steve. Great game here. Who's downstairs looking for a one three four? Yes. One three four for Jules. One forty. And a one forty answer for Steve Russell. Puts him at a one six one. Gonna have the first dart at a checkout. say chance at a checkout. I can't guarantee he has a dart at a checkout, but that's going to help. That treble right there. 99. Big 99 to leave 62. But he's going to have six darts at it. Sorry. Three guaranteed darts at it. At six darts at the previous. Oh, 34. And 12 for tops or 20 for double 16. I like the 12 route. Goes the opposite, 20 for double 16. Just 46. inside. Doesn't surprise me that he uh, 
You know, he hit that previous one at double 16, so didn't surprise me with that route. So double eight here for Steve Russell to make it eight seven. As we go into our break. First good shot. There it is. Alrighty, that's eight seven, guys. We'll go into our break real quick. With it eight seven. We'll be right back, guys.
All righty, back to it, folks. Here we are. Game on. All right, I did a quick little board adjustment there. Sorry. So eight yeah. seven here. What a match we have. Seventy eight average for Jules. Seventy five average for Steve Russell. Managing to pick it up from where he was at. So cannot complain here. We are back to it, folks. 60. Still have yet to have a 180. So there let's see go. if we can get there. There it is. As I speak, it happens. Big 180. Himself without a checkout, but the first max of the game. Why not? Why not? You, doing? you just comment and how low those were. Those were a little bit low. So 106 for Jules looking to take advantage. Sixty eight left, twenty, eight or sixteen, eight for tops. There it is, sixty eight checkout and a fifteen dart leg to open up after the break makes it nine seven. Jones got churn in the background, I think. <laughs> 100. Yeah, there's a there's a little delay in the chair, but. Well, I heard it when I was shooting there, buddy. Sorry, we gotta close the door. Ninety-seven. Nothing wrong with that, Steve. Addressing the chair. Nothing wrong with that at all. Sixty. Jules looking to adjust. Come on, the inside of that. There was two darts. Tough job to do. Forty-five shot there. Good time. I do want to address that. What just happened there? That's a that's a great, it's a great showing of, of something that happens in virtual darts. I mean, it could be couldn't be cheering, but there could be somebody yelling in the background. There could be kids. There could be whatever it is. So, you know, just say one thing, leave it at that, and go on. It's gonna happen. Sixty. Good 140 from the Marachine Netherlands native Jules Vindagen. Steve from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Big shout out to all the people in Calgary watching. I know he's got some fans, so give them a big shout out as well. Looking for a 160. 140. Come on. Unfortunate. Two trebles just inside. Looking for a 136 for Steve. 
96. Steve Russell double top to make it 9 8. Come on. There Good. he goes. Good job. Makes it 9 8. Double top. Oh. Jules looking to start off with another 180. 140. No, just 140. This match definitely can go the whole way, folks. 85. We've seen the kind of up-down averages. Jules has been holding steady about 78 for quite some time now. Steve has picked his average up. You can definitely see this match ending with low 80s. 81. Max Mona, nice work, Will. Appreciate 61. that, sir. Thank you very much. Some great blogs over at AZ Darts from Dax. Go check that out. I had to dabble with a blog myself about the virtual darts experience. 140. Go check that one out as well. See what you think. Thirty-seven. Great third dart goes downstairs. Big one three seven. Looking at one ninety-five for Steve Russell. Those are gonna help. Ninety-five. Uh, let's say it looks like a ninety-five there. So leaves himself a ton. But one three two here for Jules Bowl first dart. Of course. Twenty-five. One oh seven. No, I was wrong. That's four. Unfortunate dart there for Jules. Oh, come on. 41. I think the smart dart here is 20. Yep. 68 left. Go at it again. No, he goes eight. To, sorry. That's a proper play. 18 for Bullseye. And he snags it. Third dart. Pulled out of the hat. Yeah. There we go. What a leg there from both those gentlemen. 79 average for Jules. Steve Russell, 75. Good third art bull. I don't know what I was talking about there. Stay on the way. <laughs> wow, Will. Yeah, that's a good check out. 68. 20. Or sorry, 88. 81. It's single 20, goes over to the 18, pegs the bowl for the 10-8 lead. Once again, race to 16, so six legs away for Jules. Looking for another 180. 180. 180. Was looking at 115 after 125, so. Can you see his fucking nerds in his order?
four to one. Fortune there, looking for 16, goes inside, inside. Leaves himself four. Steve Russell, 115. For Steve. Makes it 10 9. A little bit feisty now at the moment, so gotta keep an eye on things. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, happens. Especially in the virtual dart scene, so. Guys are probably frustrated. A little bit frustrated with how they're playing, I'm sure, but 79, 75. We're rolling here. 10 to 9. It's a good match. Back and forth. Ninety six. Right, a couple people in the chat. He shot a ninety seven, didn't he? Yes, so I was kind of thinking about how. Things were getting a little bit feisty, so I didn't, wasn't really paying attention. I could have stepped in at that. I didn't. The match went on, so we're going to roll with it as stands. Nothing you can really do mid-match. You can't stop it, go back. There's no reason to, so. Stands is 10-9. We'll roll with it. One forty. Can we see their game faces? After this match, you might. We might do a post, a little post-match interview. So, we get intense. Both these players have never met each other. Um, like I said, Jules is, is an up-and-comer. Um, right now, he resides in that Parkville, Missouri area. Incredible talent. Steve's a fiery player out of Canada, so. Trouble 20, 20 for tops. 80. Looks like a 74, so double seven. Six. Just outside. What a shot there for Jules. Unlucky. Double top for Steve. Inside, double 10. Come on, second dart. There it is, second nice. dart. Good shot. Mike Walters, you have to agree by the time you're able to say something, it's too late. Well, not only that, it's just uh, this is an exhibition. There's no reason to get in a front about things. So, uh, yeah, you got that. We'll make a quick adjustment as things get into the ladder legs here. On those numbers at the bottom. There we go. Nice. 
140. Good 140 for Steve. Lake, I'm bringing up a good point. Steve won six of the last nine to tie it. 53. That's correct. 53 shot there. Jules just looking kind of hold on here. Whittle it down, see if he can make do. But tough task ahead with Steve at 68. Still just got to buck down. Thirty-six. Ninety-eight. Smart darts there. Good ninety-eight, because that leaves us check out with one six four. Just in case, any way we're darts here. Not going to happen. Good third dart for Steve Russell as he takes the 11-10 advantage with an 18-dart leg. Joel's having a little tough time after... Steve expressed his feelings um, in the cheering. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I mean, it's 45. kind of a, one of those things. He shouldn't be discouraged by it. He needs to brush it off, keep going here. There we go. Just needs a couple. There it is, 140. All righty. Just a couple legs of just kind of slumpy darts there for Jules. So nothing wrong with that. It's going to happen in a best of 31. I mean, it's a long leg. And like I said, he did play Matt uh, Campbell this afternoon. And that was a five set, five leg match. So. <clears throat> Lots of darts for Jules today. Again, I know Steve is uh, <laughs> hard work. I think he works four to four every day. One three four for Jules. Guys are killing me. Forty five. So one twenty two for Jules starts off in the eighteens. Right thing to do. Looks like a treble one. Is a treble one, so as time leaves himself 82. Solid, solid 82. That's a good number to be on. 44. He will go bull 17 for tops. There it is. Tops it is. Sorry. The wife is calling me. Eleven, eleven, best of thirty-one. What a match here! Back and forth, back and 22. forth. 
Goose had a slight advantage, Circle came up. back. Steve started coming back. Steve giving himself a little verbal encouragement. One hundred. You got a wife with you got to call you got to answer when the wife calls. I, you are totally right. I did quickly text her so worky worky calls so 85 96 Somebody's pounding the 60. likes. Love to see that. We'll take all the likes, shares, follows we can get. 81. We appreciate those. Good night of darts here, especially after having the big uh, eight matches today in the PDC World Championships. Turn around and have some fun this evening here with some North American darts. 44. Jules Van Dodgen and Steve Russell. Steve Spinner, appreciate your like. Thank you. 90 left for Steve. Yeah, way to go that way. Yeah, that's kind of the tough route about going bull for a start. I like the 20 route myself. 37, 34. It's a little bit bigger bed in case you miss, but going to come back with 56. 94. 16 for tops. Inside, double 10. Outside, giving Zero. Jules the opportunity. 38 left. Does he go right at it? Does he split it? Right at it. Inside, 19. Three for double eight. Yes. Uh, 22. Inside, outside. Yeah, third dart. Ricochet, third dart in there for Steve Fuggle. Russell. Fuggle. Wasting no time. One hundred. Jules trying to work out the slump here. Nothing wrong with having a yep. little slip and stamina when you get late in this match. It's 11 12 here. Jules has the darts in this leg, so doesn't want to let Steve break, but. We will see what happens. Brian Ste Steinbach, have you been with Stewart? I've been doing okay. Busy, busy as usual. Trying to piece some matches here and there. 
have some fun here on USA Darts. We uh, appreciate you tuning in for this one. Big long match. Best of 31. Fifty-eight. Unfortunate as Jules doesn't leave himself a checkout. Could that be a pivotal point in this leg? One hundred. Good third dart. Twenty four, thirty two. Ooh, unfortunate. Just missing on the outside. Seventy one shot here, thirty nine. Uh, third dart. There it is, third dart, seventy one. 12, 12 match, folks. This turns in from a best of 31 to a best of seven. 83. An exciting one to do. Flying solo. Uh, Hour and 18 minutes in. Appreciate you guys joining us. You have a virtual or uh, live event that you would like to get 100. covered by USA Darts. Give us a uh, look over at www.usadartslive. You need a free quote. You can also check out the Colonial Darts brand. Head over to USA Darts on YouTube and uh, check out some head-to-head -head matches, including the WDF Virtual Cup matches. 45. Go check that out. You got to do it right now. You can do it later, but... <laughs> Looking for a 180? 140. No, 140. Good shot. For at least a ton, that's what he manages. Leaves himself one sixteen. Goes for bowl and just on the low side. Unlucky there for Steve Russell. 56 for Jules. Eight. Eight for Tops. Unfortunate first start. He just left himself one chance at it. Steve looking to make a pay. Nine. No, sorry. Three. Double 11. Come on. Third arc. Sounds like he gets it. He does. Snags it to make it 13 to 12. Back and forth. Back and forth. Steve Russell holds throw. Good shot there for Jules. Three seven. Did 
160. Balls are up a ton too, so quality stuff here in this 26th leg for Jules Van Doggen. The Rhino, as Steve Russell's known. I need to add that in there. Found that out this evening. One five one needed for Jules here. Inside, just looking to whittle it down now. So, I wouldn't have seen him going for that one anyways. But with when given the opportunity, you never know. Speaking of 58, 58 left for Jules, 18 for Tops. Just above, a little bit high for a marker dart. Proves to be my point as he goes a little bit high on his third dart there. Fifty-six. Double top. There it is, first start. 13 13. We roll on. Best of five. This is our goal, as always, to provide great matchups that can go or hopefully go the distance. And this match proves to be another great one. Back and forth, back and forth, 13-13. Who will take the match? Who's going to win it? Hop over to YouTube real quick and just a couple uh, comments. One hundred. Very enjoyable match, to be honest. Wish we could see the uh, players too. Beautiful dartboards, though. Yeah, we got some good views of these dartboards. I wish we had some player views as well. Tough to do. Not everybody has, uh, you know, two tablets or two devices that they can use because you need one for Dart Connect. You need one for your board. Not everybody has that third device to give uh, for a player view. But this is a very enjoyable match. Big 140 there for Jules to leave 65. Yeah, five. Can your Steve give a little disapproval there? Jules looking to break throw here. Look like at 25 for tops. Inside, leaves himself double 10. Steve Russell with 98 to hold throw.
double 12. Come on. <laughs> Third dark. There it is. You can hear him vocally say it. These guys both are a little bit fiery. I like that. I like it. Nothing wrong with it. Good third as he lays it in there on Ricochet for a ton. Just exciting. Edge of my seat here. Back and forth we go. One hundred. Mr. Dart Wolf chiming in. Always good to see you in here. Thank you. Appreciate that. Awesome match. It's going all the way here. I do hope. I do hope. Fries, man. 92. 107 here for Jules. After 12 darts. 70 double or treble 10. Leaves himself 40. 164 for Steve Russell. Doable. Not now. Unfortunate. 100. Gives him the opportunity, though, if Jules misses. But the way it's going, back and forth, I don't think so. Inside, double 10. Don't talk too soon, Will. You know better. Face palm. 64 left for Steve Russell. 16, 16, no, 24 for tops. A little high. Come on, baby. Good marker, though. Pretty dark. Puts himself one leg away. That was a break of throw there for Steve Russell, too. 18 dart leg. Terry Trenholm, hello, how's it going? Hope everything is going good with you. Back to the fines again. 45. On 40. Big 140 opener for Jules. He knows. He knows what he's got to do. He's going to win every leg now. Three of them. 140. So does Steve. He's just one away. Big 140 answer. Steve darts. Steve has darts in hand as well. He's got the uh, advantage with the start in this leg. Goes downstairs first. I like this. I really like that. Comes out with a 95. Leaves himself 170. That's the only way to go on 265. In my personal opinion. 95. Steve very vocal. Why wouldn't you be? Both these guys are. Jules hits a big, big dart. He's going to let you know about it. So will Steve. One six one. No luck here. So seventy four left for Jules. Sixty. The Dutch Dragon needs it. Fourteen twenty for tops. Third dart. Third dart. Great Third dart. dart for Jules. I personally thought that second dart was just a little on the high side. 
but great, one. great shot. Good 83 shot. Taking just a second, thinking about it. 99. Good shot for Steve. This is some great action here. Some fiery darts back and forth. Two guys that are amped to play. Jules needs the treble. Goes downstairs. Unfortunately, does not find it. 302 for Steve Russell. Unfortunate two darts in the five. Just a 70. Leaves himself without a chance at an out. So Steve needs 72. Will not get it. So without an opportunity out on as well. Jules will get the first opportunity. Will it go? 31 legs. Will Steve Russell come out on top here? Fucking fives again. Just 57, so Steve Russell, 139, to win the match. Yeah. He knows it's not doable now, so Jules coming back with double 16. 59. Inside, inside, double four. Dark. Pressure's on, nails it. We are going the right, distance. Jules, the last game, bud. Both of each other with wish each other well. We go the distance. Sixty. Dart Wolf calls it and says we will go the distance and we do. Six. Good third dart, 96. Jules needs to find a treble here. Preferably two. Will not happen. 58. Oh, unfortunate on his third. Steve has the distinct advantage now. He's got the uh, throw. He's also got a significant lead. Needs a ton 80. Can he do it? 140. No, big 140, though. That's a great answer.
Finding myself on the edge of my seat just watching here. Sorry, folks. 60, 60 here. So one, two, seven. So that leaves for Steve. 190 here for Jules. It's a good first start. A little high on the second. Don't believe that's in, but he moves over for a one, three, four. That adds a lot of pressure. Steve Russell for a one, two, seven. 107. Just over in the treble seven bed. So 56 for an incredible match win here for Jules. 16 for Tops. Around we go. 46 shot. 81 left for Steve Russell. 19, 62, 12 for Bull. Come on! <laughs> what a match there. Good shot. Wow, gentlemen. Wow. Back and forth. That was a fiery, tasty match there, gentlemen. I know you guys were capable were of more, but wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you say wow for sure. What was that? You say wow for sure. That was sloppy. Very yeah. Sloppy. Yeah, I was about to say, I know, I know that you guys are both capable of more, but I mean, considering you guys are, it sounds like you both are, you know, you both are fire players. I knew that you were Steve ahead of time. Jules, I've actually, you know, I've, I've met you a couple times and I, I've seen you play, but I really haven't, haven't really streamed you and had the opportunity to. So, uh, you know, yeah. I know, well, go ahead, Jules. I'll tell you this, uh, a 77.4, uh, feels like an 87.4. Playing, uh, you know, yeah. playing on the stream, you know. Yeah, for so sure. Yeah. A little bit more uh, hard work it is, but I think miss, miss my doubles, you know. Yeah. You said it exactly well. I mean that you said it in the break too. I mean, you know, a seventy-seven here is 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 an eighty-four on stream. I thoroughly believe that because it's and this is your, I believe, first time on a stream. Really, isn't that right? Oh, other than like, you know, live events, but. It's a different atmosphere. It's tough. I know, you know, like, yeah. you know, there's no doubt when, you know, you have a, some some people in your house or whatever that are also watching the match. You know, Steve was, Steve, you know, politely kind of asked you that. That's a part of the match. That's part of virtual Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there's, it's part I of heard, it. Uh, I heard Steve grunt a little bit, too. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. It goes oh, yeah, both I'm ways. Treated. It goes both ways. It goes both ways, you yeah. know. But yeah. it, it, nonetheless – Exactly, exactly. I know you guys are capable more, and maybe we can do a little rematch and show it. That's for sure. I know that you guys uh, – I know Jules wants more. I know Steve wants more because uh, Steve is the one that messaged me and said, get me on here again, man. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we, we, we both can play better than that. We both know it. So. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Um, <laughs> There's uh, the kiddo. <laughs> Awesome. Yo, this is this is one, and I think they're expecting another. So, congrats yeah. to you on that one, Jules. Uh, it's going to be great Thank to have you. another one, that's for sure. So, yeah, it was it was, it was uh, fun playing Steve, and I know I know he's a better player than what he did, and we both know that. We'll, uh, you know, hey, we'll have to do it again. We'll do it again, Jules. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah. There you go. Whether it's. Okay. Yeah, no, that's the thing about it. I, you know, Jules, you're just kind of getting back, you know, really getting into the game. And Steve's been around for some time, but, you know, he's, you know, just, Steve, how old are you? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. 26. <laughs> 20, 26. He said 26. Uh, 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 40. So you still, you still have some significant amount of time left in your game as well. Uh, I've been invited to the Royal Masters three times. I don't want to do my whole thing, but, Will, you said the last time my credentials. You're wrong on my credentials, but uh, – We'll let that roll. I'm wrong on my credentials. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, that's not good. That's not good. But uh, well, I'll, I'll chat with you afterwards. I'll, I'll, I'll get myself in check, and we'll do it next time. But anyway, all righty, gentlemen. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a great match. Went all went the distance. So can't complain there. Uh, of course, you guys are gonna complain about the about the averages, but you know that's darts for you. So yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, well. Yeah, of course. Putting others on, and it's uh, it's experience that counts. Well, that's the yeah. thing, and and I knew yeah. I knew you guys would would give each other a good a, a good one, no matter the averages, and and, and then that's what happens. So, kudos. Well, to both I think you doubles guys. wise, I think doubles wise, like Jules said, experience. I think I had the doubles when he missed them, 
the first start. But, uh, yeah, no, Jules is a solid shooter. I would love to play him again. And uh, I'd like to thank Will, USDA The Arts, man, put this on. Awesome. Oh, yeah, man, no problem. It's 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 true pleasure to get to sit in and, and do these. I don't think I'm a great commentator, but I try, you know, try to pull out my Wayne Mardell. <laughs> all right, guys, take care. Appreciate it. You guys have a good night, all right? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. See ya. Thank you. Hey, have a good night. You too. All right, there there it is. That was Jules Van Doggen and Steve Ooh. Russell. Good match up there. Like I said, it was a fiery match back and forth. Uh, definitely, you know, entertaining, entertaining. Back and forth the whole way. Uh, just when you get some distance, one player stream, comes screaming right back. So you can't complain about those ones. Like I said, these guys will complain about the averages, but entertainment, entertainment. All righty, folks, from all of us here at USA Darts, we want to preview our next matchup. That's going to be Gary Brooks taking on David Green. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. It's the Fabricator takes on David Green. <laughs> Gary Brooks is uh, kind of had some some stuff denied. Well, both these guys had some stuff denied from him this year with uh, COVID as they were sitting high in the uh, um, ADO rankings. And then, of course, COVID happened, and that came to a screeching halt. So we're going to let them have at it Sunday, December 20th at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. Tune in. Don't forget it, folks. From William Stewart, USA Darts, we will see you next time. Have a good one, folks. Mm -hmm.